Hi, I'm Mamda Butch. I'm consultant cardiologist in Manchester. I'm clinical lead of the Transcatheter Heart Valve Services and lead of structural heart program at Withenshaw Hospital. And I'm really pleased to be talking to you as a council member of the British Heart Valve Society regarding two documents published this year, which are aimed at all professionals involved in the management of patients with heart valve disease. Specifically, these are the BHVS blueprint and a heart journal article relating to the outpatient management of heart valve disease in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the BHVS blueprint, I guess, is our call for change as we're faced with a really urgent need to improve heart valve services, particularly given the increasing prevalence of heart valve disease in an aging population. And I think of the blueprint as a kind of toolkit, the idea being to translate the, the rapidly evolving guidelines that we've seen over the past five to 10 years into practice because the the reality is that actual implementation is not straightforward it's quite a complex interplay of multiple disciplines working across multiple tiers of healthcare with uh, substantial resource constraints um, and it requires that broader uh, awareness of the social and cultural environment in which we're delivering healthcare. And so the blueprint is a comprehensive but user friendly guide, which is seeking to encourage a reconfiguration of how we deliver our heart valve services. And it takes a firmly disease orientated, patient centered approach and goes through the patient's life journey with heart valve disease, um, if you want, from, from diagnosis to surveillance, uh, endocarditis, prophylaxis and management to intervention and post-intervention care. And it highlights the key standards that are required for good quality care the specialist competencies that are required and how they can be achieved and the framework within which we all as a team of multidisciplinary professionals need to work in a really well-coordinated way across the community, district general hospitals and specialist heart valve cardiac centres. And so it can certainly be used by the individual as a point of reference, but it also has an overarching role to really encourage and support you in your efforts locally to develop heart valve services um, in your region with that multidisciplinary approach. And this network based care and the importance of it has been reinforced yet further um, this year in 2020. And of course, all clinical services have faced much greater challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so in response to this, we at the BHVS have followed up on the blueprint with an article that was published online at the end of August in the Heart Journal by Benoit Shah et al titled The Outpatient Management of Heart Valve Disease Following the COVID-19 Pandemic, Implications for Present and Future Care. And what this paper is, um, I think, is very much a reflection of what the COVID crisis has done across our whole healthcare ecosystem. And that is to really crystallise in our minds, the clinical priorities and needs of our patients, but also to enable established modern technology to finally disrupt the way in which we deliver care. And so better, more effectively meet clinical demands, but also improve 
quality of care and I think in the long run patient experience and so what we do in this article is essentially distill down the blueprint further to provide a really clear focused approach to the outpatient surveillance and management um, of patients with heart valve disease with these key principles in in mind taking into account the significant constraints we face and actually I would look at it not simply as an article for Covid times but combined with the blueprints as a, a sound foundation they collectively provide an approach to ensuring a resilient heart valve service that can adapt at pace and scale to not only our current challenges, but the inevitable further new challenges we face in the future, whilst maintaining and indeed improving quality of care. So I would really encourage you to read these documents. We do hope you find them useful in your practice. Please do visit the BHVS website for more information. Thank you for listening and take care.